pretty lights Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care what is going on youtube visionix here with another video and today i'll be bringing you guys another tutorial showing you guys how to make an insane banner in photoshop to help grow your youtube channel now before we start i just want to say thank you guys for the insane support you guys showed on my last video really appreciate it so with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial so the first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and open up photoshop and this will be the banner we'll be creating today so if you guys do enjoy don't forget to smash a like on this video subscribe if you guys are new turn on notifications so you guys don't miss any of my videos and yeah let's go ahead and create this for you guys so the first thing you guys want to want to do is go ahead and download this image from Google is that it's called YouTube banner safe area so just go on Google type in YouTube banner safe area and just download this one it'll be the first one that pops up once you guys have that downloaded just go ahead and open it up in Photoshop and you should have this right here and the images that I'll be using for this banner right here will actually be this one right here which is just a regular Call of Duty background that I typed up this one right here so if you guys are using Fortnite on your banner you can just go ahead and type in Fortnite PNG and you will get the images like this without the background so these are the ones that I'll be using and this is the banner we'll be creating so what you guys want to do once you guys have this is just come over here to your uh, rectangular tool make sure it's set to white up here and actually just drag a line through these lines right here just kind of drag it right there like that do the same thing for the bottom part like that right there nice what you guys want to do is just come over here and rasterize these layers just click rasterize on both of them once you guys do that you can actually delete the original picture right there and then go ahead and stay on your, your rectangular tool change the color to black so just go ahead and change that to black and actually just drag a line through the middle like this right here make sure you put this to the bottom go ahead and rasterize it as well and you guys should have something that looks like this once you guys have this you guys are ready to make your banner and start adding stuff to it so the first thing i'm going to add in is the background actually so it's just going to come right here actually just cancel that Go back on our select tool drag the background in so just go ahead and put this right here and just kind of resize it down so you know if it's nice and neat you guys obviously don't have to use the same picture i use i'm just using this one you know because it's the one i pick you guys can obviously use whatever you want so i'm just gonna leave that right there that looks pretty clean we have a bunch of action going on once you guys have the background inserted go ahead and change the background opacity to around i would say 15 that looks pretty good go ahead and change it to 15 you guys can put it to like 20 depending on the picture just make sure it's kind of dark and neat and also what you guys want to do is just come over here to a uh, filter not filter image adjustments and change the image to black and white just go ahead and do that click ok and you guys will have this right here once you guys have your picture black and white the opacity turned down the next thing we're going to do is actually give it a little blur so we're just going to go to filter blur gaussian blur and just change the blur to around 1.5 i would actually say and that looks pretty cool nice and neat so the blur is just when you guys add your text it actually just stands out a little bit more you know so when you guys blur your background the text will just stand out a little bit more so once you guys have the background ready and everything the next thing we're going to do is drag in these images right here actually the other images that we use so i'm gonna go ahead and drag this one onto the banner put her over here let's kind of drag her down a little bit and just kind of put her over here because remember when you guys set it as your banner on youtube most of this side won't be like shown so just kind of make sure it's like in there so everything gets shown when people are looking at your banner on youtube so i'm just gonna drag her like right here i'm gonna do Control t remember the old alt or shift whichever one it is for you guys when you guys are resizing so you know it keeps the picture in proportion i'm just gonna kind of keep that one right there check mark go ahead and grab the other image which is this one drag him over as well put him in do Control t hold alt so everything stays in proportion and just kind of drag it down right right there looks say uh let's resize it down a little bit more right there looks nice go ahead hit the check mark we're gonna actually make this girl is uh above the other one actually cancel that just drag her above so once you guys have this right here just kind of you know play around with it make sure you guys like what you see and don't you know don't try to like copy everything i'm doing you guys obviously it's your banner so just make it to what you guys like so once you guys have these pictures in the next thing we're gonna actually do is we're gonna actually change them to black and white as well so just go ahead image adjustment and change them to black and white and do that for both images so let's just go ahead click ok go on the other image come over here image adjustment change it to black and white as you guys can see just you know makes the 
the guys just black and white everything just black and white and once you guys do that the next thing we're gonna do here is actually gonna duplicate both pictures so do control j to duplicate it duplicate that one go into the other image and just duplicate that one as well and make sure you guys want to drag the duplicated later layer under the original so the duplicated one make sure it's under the original picture what we're gonna do on the duplicated layers is do control t and just hold shift not shift this might be shit for you guys actually odd for me to keep the image in proportion just hold alt and just kind of resize it up a little bit to around right there seems nice hold the check mark do the same thing for the other duplicated control t hold alt to keep everything nice and cool just kind of do that right there and what you guys want to do now is actually just go ahead and lower the opacity of the one in the background to around i would say 20 percent to uh, let's let, let's leave it at 20 20 looks good so go ahead and do that for both duplicated just go ahead and change that down to 20 right there looks nice and but that's 20 there we go and as you guys can see it adds a nice little effect to the pictures like a you know a little 3d effects that looks really cool on banner so i'm gonna turn this one up a little bit actually so we can actually see a little bit more of her 25 for this one looks nice like i said just guys just play around with it make sure you like what you see once you guys have that your banner is starting to look pretty good it's lacking color but we're going to add that in a few seconds so the next thing we're going to want to do is actually go ahead and come over here to the original picture right click let's go to blending option and we're going to give it a nice drop shadow just go ahead and copy the settings for the drop shadow one for the distance five for the spread and seven for the size let's go ahead and copy what you see right here once we do that go ahead and click ok and what you guys want to do is just go ahead and copy the layer style from that one and actually just paste it onto the other image so just go ahead and do that and you guys will have the same thing on both images once you guys have that everything looks nice the next thing we want to do is go ahead and add a new layer above everything and what we're going to do is go ahead and change this to whatever color you want your banner to be and i'm going to change it to blue for the sake of this video go ahead and head over to your uh, brush tool and actually make sure it's set to a uh, soft round actually just go ahead and set that to soft round do Control alt to actually resize it so i'm just going to resize it so it's a little bit of around both a uh, picture just go ahead and actually just give it a nice click right there and what you guys want to do change that to overlay and as you guys can see it adds that nice effect to the character so now they're all colored up looking nice so once you guys have that done the next thing we're gonna add is a few overlay to the background you know to kind of make it pop so what we're gonna do is head over here to this 30k graphics pack if you guys don't know what uh, GFX packs are just go ahead I'll leave this one in the description it's from a uh, youtuber called Tim Purs. if you guys want to go check him out I'll link his channel as well if you guys don't have GFX packs and you're a youtuber then you guys are seriously missing out so go ahead and download this pack couple of megabytes and just open it up once you guys open it up just come over to overlay and actually just click on this image right here these image these are the image that we'll be adding to the banner so actually I'm gonna go ahead and drag this one over to our banner right here go ahead and drag this in and actually just kind of you know resize it around right there looks nice and what I'm going to do is actually just change that to color dodge and just kind of lower the opacity down so I'm gonna turn the opacity to around uh let's see 30 looks nice to around 15 okay let's leave it at that right now and actually what we're gonna do is just go ahead and head over to our eraser tool same thing make sure it's set to soft round go ahead and do control alt to resize and what we're gonna do is just kind of erase the edges so it doesn't look like it's actually a picture you know it's like blending in with the background so we're gonna go ahead and do that and what you guys can do right here is do control u and just kind of change the color so it matches the background in my case it'll be like a nice little blue let's go ahead and leave it right there that looks nice that looks pretty cool and as you guys can see if you guys want you guys can actually give this a blur as well so filter gaussian blur and just click ok and that looks pretty cool so we're just gonna go ahead and grab these other images from the graphics pack so these are the other two that i'll be using this one right here this looks pretty cool let's go ahead and exit off of that one drag this one onto our banner and just kind of do the same thing that we did with that one but for this one we're going to put it on both sides so we're going to do change that to a uh, color dodge and just make sure it's under everything next thing you guys want to make sure is that these image that we added like the 
the overlays just kind of make sure they're just right above the background so make sure they're not on top of the character that we added that was actually a mistake so just go ahead and drag them under once you guys have them under just go ahead and change this one to color dodge as well as you guys can see we can lower the opacity to around i would say that looks nice so let's just put it to 25 so just go ahead and put it to 25 Control U, and what that will do is just change the color so we can make it a nice blue, matches the background. What we're gonna do is actually do Control J, and we're gonna do Control T, and actually we're gonna drag the other one on the other side of the banner like this. So this right here looks nice. Go ahead and hit the check mark, and that looks pretty cool if you guys ask me. And let's go ahead and give this a blur, a blur actually. So go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you can you can turn down the blur in this one a little bit to like 1.0. Click OK. That looks really nice. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for this one. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And as you guys can see, it gives it a nice glowing, uh, just a nice effect on the background. Now it's just going to be one more image that we're going to add. Actually, it's going to be this one right here. So let's go ahead and drag this one in as well. Put this one around let's kind of resize this one a little bit hold alt you know just kind of move it let's put it like around right here looks nice go ahead and hit the check mark we're gonna do set this one to color dodge as well overlay looks pretty cool as well like you like i said you guys can just experiment with this and make sure you like what you see and what we're gonna do is control u kind of change the color again to make sure you know it's a nice color and that right there i would say looks pretty cool so let's just leave it out at that right now it looks nice and what we're gonna do is kind of do control j which actually duplicates that drag the other one hold on uh undo move make sure you grab the duplicated one to the other side of the picture so just kind of pull it over here and just leave it right there we're gonna lower the opacity in a second just go ahead and go back on your eraser tool and erase the edges like that for both image and that looks pretty cool and what we're gonna do is just lower the opacity on both of them go ahead and lower this one so around right there looks nice click on the other one as well lower the opacity just make sure it looks nice like I said just make sure you guys like what you see as you guys can see that gives a nice effect that looks pretty cool if you guys ask me so what we're gonna do now is just you know add a few more stuff and then yeah so go ahead and head back over to your brush tool make sure you guys resize that down a little bit smaller you guys want to change this to white and actually we're gonna go above everything so go above every layer right now so just go ahead and add a few white spark around the map just around the banner like that these look really cool if you set them to overlay they'll look really nice as you guys can see right now just go ahead and change them to overlay just go ahead and hide it and as you guys can see kind of highlights uh spots around the banner that makes it look pretty cool if you guys ask me so once you guys have that you guys can actually add the text right now and i'm going to go ahead and just type a tutorial in for the sake of this video and then what you guys want to do just kind of resize that so it kind of fits nice and neat in the middle we're going to do Control t hold alt again to kind of resize it down nice and pretty let's go ahead and you know just kind of align it perfectly in the middle i would say right there looks nice go ahead and hit the check mark once you guys have that we're going to ha add a couple of effects to the text so what you guys want to do for a pretty cool effect is first thing you guys want to do go ahead and rasterize the text right there then you guys want to do Control control j to actually duplicate it and drag the duplicated one under the original then do control t hold all to keep it in proportion and just kind of resize it up to around right there looks nice hit the check mark and what you guys want to do with this one is just go ahead and change that to overlay and as you guys can see it adds a nice effect in the background but what we could still do after that one is go ahead and duplicate this one as well do control j on this one that actually duplicates it again but what you guys want to do is go ahead and change that back to normal once you guys have that just come over here and hold control and click right here just do that and you kind of highlight it like this then you guys want to come up here to select uh modify and then do contract about five that looks pretty good once you guys have that just go ahead and delete 
and then kind of just change that right there back again to overlay and as you guys can see you guys have that amazing uh looking kind of you know just effect going on on the text in the background so as you guys can see it looks really nice you know and you guys can still add a few more stuff you know like some color correction color correction to make everything comes together and pop a little bit more and i'm gonna actually do that right now. if you guys want to add color corrections you're really easy just come over here to adjustments you guys want to could add like a an exposure just kind of turn this down just like i said just play around at it make sure you like what you see let's just leave that to around right there that looks nice Put that to around right there we guys can actually add a color curve just kind of slightly make a tiny little s right here and just as you guys do just play around with it make sure you like what you see go ahead and what else we can add a uh, brightness and con contrast go ahead and just you know kind of move stuff to see what looks good and what doesn't look bring this down a little bit or up actually and that looks pretty cool right there as you guys can see the banner is coming together really nice you know you guys can out obviously add a few more stuff you know like your instagram and stuff like that and it'll look pretty cool but as you guys can see everything looks really nice and pretty right now you guys if you guys want to change the color of everything just come over here and do a uh, hue and saturation and actually just change this and as you guys can see you know you can find a color that suits you guys that looks cool and that is it so here you have it insane uh banner tutorial go ahead and smash the like if you guys enjoyed this video like i said thank you guys for the insane support on my previous video really appreciate it and don't forget to turn on notification when you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss a video when i upload and yeah that's gonna be it for this video drop a like if you enjoy subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys in my next one peace out